All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be comparing. Uh, I got this a long time ago for my E46. Um, it didn't really do much for the E46. So, fortunately, it fit in this car too. So, if you look right down here. On this jump, she'd be right here. So, pretty much all you gotta do is just take the, the gas pedal off and then it goes in between the two connectors there. And then mine's like really poorly wired through, but either way it works. So, pretty much there's a off mode and then it's like the sport mode and then race mode and then you can like filter between one through nine. So I always just keep mine on race mode at nine. It's not like it does that much to where you're gonna be killing yourself. So pretty much all that's in the box. Shout out to uh, Sprint Booster for not sponsoring me. You know, hit your boy up. It's just user guides and then I think it comes with like double sided tape to mount it. Um, but I got this like probably like two years ago. Uh, E46s are just slow so it didn't really help. So all I'm gonna be doing is probably like two runs with the Sprint Booster turned off and then two runs with it on race mode at nine. Ignore my filthy car. So pretty much I'm just gonna You know what I'm saying? Just my first two <laughs> runs without it. It's probably gonna be a lot shorter video than any of the other ones, but you know, quarantine comes rough times. My girlfriend can't hold the camera straight. <laughs> but alright, we're gonna go do two runs without it on. Hello. Can you zoom in? On a bitch, go start on a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm not hearing music. Yes, sir. Diesel. All right, so I've been sports mode right now, so that way it's even on shifts for all of the runs. So right now, the sprint booster is off, and here's just a zero to 60. I'm just gonna be doing it on my phone. So my car's not stock. It has a 7.5 inch intercooler, uh, charge pipe, blow valve. Um, stage one MHG tune, and it's fully straight piped, catalyst down pipes. So this isn't like a completely stock 335i, but it's, it'll still be a, a comparison with and without the sprint booster. So, all right. So here's the we're gonna do the first run right here. Just have the iPhone stopwatch and go. I was there's definitely gonna be a little bit of user error in there from me hitting start and stop obviously I'm not gonna be perfect but that was five five point seven seven and that's without it uh-huh all right here's the second run uh, the sprint boosters off all right so that one was five point eight seven on that run so now I'm gonna turn it on. So I'm just gonna do two, two without it, two with it. I really don't feel like doing three and three, putting that many runs on the car, but, so I'll just do two and two. All right, so now the sprint booster's in race mode. And we're gonna do another zero to 60. All right, here we go. So zero to 60. Here's the last run, it's in race mode. I didn't hit start. Why? All right, here we go, zero to 60, I'll fold it. All right, so that run was a 5.38. So, as you can tell, it's definitely a lot faster with it on. It says that it's supposed to increase it by like your throttle response by like 60% or something like that. So I mean, 
I'm pretty sure it's like $300. I mean, I didn't buy the Sprint Booster for this car. Like I said, I bought it for my last E46. So, um, if 0.5 seconds to you is worth it, then go ahead, do you, boo. But, um, I don't, I don't know personally if I would buy it again, just cause it's like $300. But I mean, as you can tell, it definitely makes it faster. So if it's something you to flip, you know what I'm saying? Low gang. Flow gang. Not <laughs>